Hey, 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 Gemini. This is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your Thursday, May 14th to the 15th. Intuitive Love Tarot read. This is for Gemini and Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody because it can't. But Hopefully it will with you today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below their gems. And also comment. Let me know if this resonates with you guys. I want to hear your story. All right, gems. If you guys are interested in a personal reading with me, the information can be found in the description box below. Let's see what's going on for you guys. I'm going to pull four cards, and then I'm going to get a channeled message just for you, Gemini from spirits okay what's going on for Gemini's May 14th 14th to the 15th oh wait a minute I'm going to pull two more That was the Page of Pentacles, by the way. Okay. So, we have the Death card. We have the Moon card. We have the Nine of Pentacles. And we have the Hierophants. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Pentacles, Gemini. Okay. So, let's see what's up for you guys. Let your spirit shine, Gemini. Be a free spirit. It's like um, they're showing me somebody that's like just dancing around, like just free. Free and light and airy and just having fun, not a care in the world. They want you to do more of that. Okay. Interesting. They said that as you do this, this will actually allow more light codes to be absorbed by your body. Never thought of it that way, but I guess it, it makes sense. It opens you up. Well, less resistance. So that makes sense. Because when we're feeling free and we're feeling joyful, right? We're not resisting it. We're just letting it be, right? And you are a free spirit anyway, Gemini. So just be you, really. Just be you. Three of Pentacles. Hmm. What you working on? What you working on? Huh? Is it something spiritual? Because we have the Nine of Pentacles, which is the single, ready to mingle, independent, abundant card. But the Hierophant is right over it. So some of you could have Taurus in your chart. Okay, but it's something, something you're working on, they're saying, is going to make you extremely abundant. And I do feel it's got us, well, if it's not spiritual, then it's sort of untraditional. Okay. There is a full transformation that comes from this. Yeah, I don't think you're telling anybody about it with the moon card here. But you are listening to your intuition on this one. And you're confident about it. Well, you go, gems. What's clarifying the Hierophant is the Three of Cups. Yeah, you've got something to celebrate. This will be... This is going to blow your mind, Gemini. Three of Pentacles. That's funny. It was at the bottom of the deck. And the Strength card. Okay, for some of you... All right, for some of you, this has to do with a past relationship. There may have been a third party involved or something got in between. Clarify this Three of Pentacles. Yeah, I think you reflected on this with the Hermit. You needed strength to get over it. But I'm also feeling, I'm, I'm not, why would they, I'm also feeling, before I clarify this, um, I'm thinking you can read my mind and you can't. 
they're saying that you're going to need strength to do this. Maybe because it's untraditional, right? It's out of the norm. Yeah, justice is clarified by the strength card. So balance. This is also karma in a good way coming back to you, listening to your intuition. I'm going to clarify this once more. Okay. The Four of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, see, karma. Again, karma, karma. Double karma. But karma in a good way. Destiny in a good way. This is your destiny and this is your key to stability. Whatever you're working on, Gemini, do it because it's going to it's going to be your stability. So have the strength. Go out of the norm. You know, they thought Einstein was crazy, right? All the greats they thought were crazy. So if you think you've got a crazy idea, do it. Do it all the more. Yeah, this is the fool clarifying the moon. Taking that leap of faith. That's Aries, right? Page of Cups clarifying the um, death card. Somebody coming in to apologize. Somebody that's been holding back may come in to apologize. Who is this person? Who is this person? Somebody at a distance could possibly be a Cancer with the chariot here. You may be connected to them spiritually. King of Wands. This could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or they could have it in their chart. But they have their eye on you. And I feel once you take off with this, that's when they're going to come back. And that's what always happens, Gemini. So what is this person's intention? Hmm. Nine of Wands. They're defensive. They're protecting themselves. But what's their intention? Four of Cups. Well, their intention is to make you an offer, but I don't know if you're going to take it. With the Four of Cups there. Yeah. You see this person as the Knight of Wands, which is, in this case, I'm feeling player energy. How else do you feel? Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. So, this is an opportunity. If you want to take it, Gemini, if you want, you're going to have to listen to your intuition on this one. What's your advice about this person, Spirit, for Gemini? What's your advice? <laughs> Focus on your work? But what about this person? They could be telling you to work on it, though. Okay. Figure out what your happiness is, okay? This is the happiest card in the deck, Gemini. Is this person your happiness? Do they make you happy? Okay, if so, maybe you do want to work with it. But listen to your intuition above all. So advice overall. Advice overall. I think you're doing pretty good, Gems. Whatever it is you're working on. Yeah, and you're keeping it to yourself listening to your intuition as well this is your advice listen to your intuition as well as whatever you're doing keep it to yourself till it manifests then you can let it out okay you don't want anybody messing with your energy i was just telling somebody that today in a reading lover's card at the bottom of the deck there you are gemini this is soulmate twin flame energy this is going to come to you as soon as this takes off so this is pretty exciting. I'm pretty excited about what you're doing, Gemini. All right, Gems, I hope this makes sense. Um, please go forward with this idea, this untraditional, out-of-the-norm idea. Crazy idea? Not crazy to me. Just do it. All right, Gems, I hope you have a great day. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading with me, the information is in the description box below. Have yourself a great day, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.